What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're gonna be doing a full phase of new drugstore makeup. There are so many new releases that I'm super hype about. We have this new Makeup Revolution foundation which people have been raving about. So really interested in this new L'Oreal concealer. We have the new Milani cream bronzers and a lot of other stuff. The new e.l.f. lippies that are causing some waves. These are basically supposed to be a dupe for like the Tarte Maracuja juicy lips. So lots of newness. We're just gonna do a full face of new stuff all of this stuff is affordable drugstore price point and I can't wait to try it out with you guys really quick before we jump into the video this is my first video actually like sitting down and talking to you guys since our pregnancy announcement because the last couple of videos were pre-filmed so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your kind words sweet messages all of the comments it truly means the world to me to have such a kind and supportive community I was literally in tears reading all of your comments, um, all of your experiences and just well wishes and stuff. It means so, so much to me. So thank you guys so much. If you guys did not see our pregnancy announcement video, my last two videos prior to this were um, all about that. I did a first trimester vlog and then also a pregnancy announcement where we shared the news with all of our friends and family and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much, but we're diving right back into makeup and I'm so excited to just sit down and do a full face with y'all today. So without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started. All right, up first, I don't have a brand spanking new primer. This primer has been out for like nine months, I believe, but I've never tried it. This is the Flower Skin Smoothie Hydra Pop Primer. Everything else is like actually brand new, just came out, but I've never tried this, so I figured let's give it a try. I do really like Flower Beauty products. I feel like they're super underrated and I love a good hydrating primer. This is Drew Barrymore's uh, makeup brand. So let's see if this is hydrating. Ooh, feels super cooling, which I love. It has a scent of cucumber, which honestly, I know that's like always in spa products and stuff because it's supposed to be like relaxing and deep puffing and stuff. I don't like cucumbers. I love like every fruit besides cucumbers. I, not me calling cucumbers a fruit. Every vegetable, like most green vegetables I really like or really most vegetables in general. Cucumbers, I just can't do it. I don't know, something with like the crunchy texture and the taste. And so the scent I'm not crazy about, but I feel like that's a very personal thing. Aside from that, it feels incredibly cooling and hydrating to the skin, but it does have a little bit of tack to it like a little bit of stickiness, nothing crazy, which I feel like will help to adhere the foundation to the skin. So I do like it. And the cucumber smell wouldn't stop me from using it. Just wanted to mention it if there's any other <laughs> cucumber haters out there like me and you really can't stand the smell. Definitely gonna smell like cucumber, but does feel nice on the skin. Alrighty, up next, I am super excited to try this out. So this is brand new from Makeup Revolution. This is their Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. I have this in shade F7. So I'm gonna try this out, see how this shade works. I do have a few other shades as well, but it has a little pump, which is nice. I'm gonna just pump some out right on the skin and we're gonna go from there. Okay, this shade looks like it actually should work. My face is not self-tan, my body is freshly self-tan, so that is why my face is 47 shades uh, lighter than my body. Ooh, okay, it has a scent, but it's kind of like a clean smelling scent. It's nothing like bad. Super light feeling on the skin, which again goes with like the serum foundation. Ooh, I like this. The scent of this reminds me so much of like another product and I can't pinpoint what it is, um, but it's a pleasant scent. Definitely giving a light coverage. As you guys saw, that was one pump and I'm only applying it to half of my face just so we can see the difference. So definitely light coverage, not gonna give you any sort of full coverage or anything like that. You can still see like my redness and discoloration and stuff peeking through, but that feels so lightweight on the skin. I really like that. Let's go in on the other side and do the same thing. Blends super easily out into the skin as well. And I just really like the way this is feeling on my skin. Like, don't get me wrong. I love a full coverage mask. Like I still have love for that. I always will, but on a daily basis, a lot of times I'm wearing much lighter products on the skin that I don't really like feel, you know what I mean? And this really is like that. Super lightweight, which I do really like. And gives a light coverage with a tint. I mean, it helped to obviously even out my skin. It made my face a little bit closer in color to my neck, which is a good thing, but not gonna cover up anything of significance. You definitely would wanna go in and like spot conceal if you wanted to cover up, you know, a blemish or excess redness or something like that. But overall, I do really like the way this feels on my skin. Another thing that is great to note as well is it definitely feels hydrating to the skin. It feels very light, but it's not giving like a super, super glowiness to my skin. It has a slight glow to it. I wouldn't call it a matte finish, but I think even if you have oily skin, this is still a product that could work for you because it's not giving me like a crazy amount of glow or anything to my skin. I would say it's more like a natural finish, kind of like your skin, but better. So I do really like this. Price point is also really great on this because foundations have gotten so expensive. I was just looking it up before. 
just want to make sure I have the right price for you guys, but I believe it was like $13, $14 um, at Ulta, which like some of these drugstore foundations are like $20 and above nowadays, which this is at least beneath that $15 price point. So I do like that. And I do think it looks really nice. I will wear this throughout the entire day and I will update the description box with how it wears. But upon first application, I really like the way this feels and looks on the skin. Alrighty, up next we have brand new from L'Oreal. I'm so excited about this because I love the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, but this is the L'Oreal True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. This is hyaluronic acid and caffeine in it, which is pretty cool. I have it in shade W4, which is light medium. I'm scared this is gonna be a little dark, but we'll try it out and see. I'm gonna actually use it. Oh, interesting dofa. Do you guys see that? It's like flat and not more of like the rounded one that we see. So I feel like for under the eyes, it's gonna be really nice. I am gonna use this to spot conceal though as well. Just cause like I said, that foundation was not super full coverage. So anywhere that I feel like I need a little additional, I'll go in with this. And I'm also gonna go in with it underneath the eyes. I actually think this shade should work. And I love this doe foot. The flat doe foot like spreads the product really well, but it feels really soft. I like that. One thing I am noticing, I don't know if my eyes are just being sensitive, but it's like a little stingy to my eyes. Like nothing I can't handle, but it's a little stingy, which is a little weird to me, but let's blend it out and see if that goes away. I might've just put it a little bit too close to the eye, like in that corner there. But normally, you know, concealers don't really like sting my eyes. Okay, let's blend it out and see. Giving a nice coverage. I would say it's a medium coverage, which is nice to find similar to how the foundation would be. And it's not stinging the eye anymore. So maybe I just put it a little too close. I'm not quite sure, honestly. But blending out easily and giving a nice coverage. Now let's go in and blend out the areas that I spot concealed as well. Actually did a good job of concealing. I always find like when I do spot concealer, as you guys saw, like I'll do that first and I'll kind of let it sit before I blend it out. And that a lot of times helps to make the products a little bit more full coverage. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it on the under eyes just because it can kind of settle into like your fine lines and sometimes it'll get a little bit drier and then you're kind of like struggling to blend it out. But on the face, I always do that method and I feel like it worked really well with this. Like I'm still able to blend it out, but it gave an actual better coverage, I think, on my blemishes than it did on my under eyes because I let it sit for a little bit. But overall, I would say I actually really like this. If you're looking for like a medium coverage, kind of natural finish concealer, I think this is something that you will actually really like. Feels hydrating, like does not feel drying or anything to my under eyes, but does not have a glowy finish or anything like that. Did a good job concealing as well, so. I like it. Okay, up next, let's jump into the brand new Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. I have high hopes. I love Milani products. They do have that bronzer stick or like, um, it's like a bronzer wand. It was basically supposed to be like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. It's in that same sort of packaging. I don't love that product. It's not bad by any means, but it doesn't blend as easily as some of the other like drugstore contour wands that I have. So I'm definitely interested to see how their bronzer is like this, like in a flat pan. Um, because a lot of times I do find these easier than some of those wands are to really blend, especially if you just go in with like a brush. I'm actually gonna use more of like a domed brush. I feel like that'll work better, but I'm gonna go in, get some on there and just tap it on my cheeks. Ooh, yes. Okay, this is better. This is a lot better, I think, than the wand is. I like this. First of all, I like the color. It's like a warmer bronze. You can kind of use it to like bronzer, where like you're contouring, but you're also bronzing the skin all at once. It has nice pigment to it, but it's blending out very easily and giving like a warm sun-kissed look to the skin. I believe they have a couple shades in this. I'm using the shade Hey Honey, um, which is 110. I'm actually gonna just put it on my cheeks as well. Do a little bronzy look a little over the nose too. You don't need a lot of this. I feel like I actually had like too much on my brush because it is quite pigmented. I'm gonna clean up underneath with my beauty blender. Okay, I like this a lot. Really, really nice. Definitely gonna use this again. Love. I have this Milani blush to throw on. These have been out for a while. This is in the shade Coral Crush. I kind of like the bronzer on my cheeks, but I figure I'll just put a tiny bit of blush on the cheeks too. Give us a little pop. The Milani cream blushes like this are really nice. I like them. But again, these are not new. Just figured I'd pair it with the cream bronzer. Alrighty, up next, we're gonna jump in to brows. Now we have these new brow products products from Maybelline. These are the Maybelline Build a Brow. So I have three different shades here. I feel like this one is just going to be way too dark, but I have soft brown and then this one is blonde. So there's basically a brow pen on one side. That's the blonde color. And then the other side is a clear brow gel. So it seems like a product that I would really like. This one is again, soft brown. I'm like, is there any pigment in here? Okay, yeah, that one's soft brown. I think that'll probably be better right now. So I'm gonna use that. It says to use the brow pen first and then the sealing gel after. I normally 
like to do my brow gel first and then I go in with the pen, but that's directly in contrast with how it tells you to do it. So I'm gonna do one eyebrow how I normally would, other eyebrow how it tells us to do it and we'll see which one, you know, if you can do it either way or what. So I'm gonna go in with this clear gel on this side. I love the little spoolie. Sometimes little spoolies honestly are the best because you can really get in and grab every single little brow hair where with some of the bigger spoolies, cause they're just bigger, they don't grab every little one. Where I feel like this one really just went in there and got them all, which is what I need. Cause I don't, I don't have that big of brows, you know? My brows are kind of sparse, so I really have to like work them up to make them look like I have more brow than I really do. And that works really well so far. I'm liking the brow gel. It does look like a little tiny amount, but I feel like I should zoom you guys in a little more so you can see, hang on. All right, that's better. So y'all can see that did a really nice job of like setting my brows on this side. I feel like the gel has pretty much dried. So I'm gonna go in with the little pencil now, or I shouldn't say pencil. It's like a pen, like a little marker. Um, and draw on little brow strokes. Okay, yeah, honestly, this is working fine. I feel like you could definitely go in and do the gel first, which is how I like to do it, just so then I can see where I have to fill in, where I have like sparse areas versus the gel after. I feel like it changes the way your brows look. I actually really love this product. Like that looks really, really good. I love brow pens like this, um, but a lot of the ones that I normally like and use all the time are high end, so loving that. Let's go on the other side, do it the way it says to do it, where you do go in with the pen first. Just kind of do little tiny brow-like strokes to fill in. Again, though, definitely a little bit harder to see where you need it this way. So I feel like I like my way better, but let's see. Then I'm gonna go in with the clear gel and set it. It does call this a sealing gel, so it could be uh, you know, sealing the product, kind of making it last extra, which I get, but I feel like my brows look better on this side with the way that I normally do it. Again, you could do it either which way you like. It works either way. Overall, it's definitely a nice product though. I like this a lot. I will absolutely continue to use this. Worked really, really well. Love that. We have a good pen now at the drugstore. Alrighty, up next we have two new eyeliners to try. I wanna try and use both of these. Milani came out with new colors in their Stay Put Tank eyeliner. So these are It Liquid. I don't know why I was gonna say Iquid liquid eyeliner. So we have a brown now and a black. You guys, <laughs> I don't know where my brain is today. We have a brown now and a white. Prior to now, there was just a black liner in this line. So I wanna try these out. I think I might do a cool sort of like liner thing where I do like brown and then a little white on top. Let's try it and see. I know, I believe I've tried the black one of these, like the original and I did like it, but let's see. See and go in. It's a pen tip, but it's not a super bowl flexible tip. However, I am able to get a pretty precise line with it, which I like. I've also been loving brown liner instead of like black, especially just because my eyes are lighter. So I feel like it looks a little bit, not even, I don't even think it's my eyes being lighter. I guess just maybe like my brows and my hair and everything. It looks like a little bit less harsh on me than black liner does. This one is nice though, cause it's like near black. It's not like a light brown. Okay, that looks pretty good. It was easy to use. I am gonna bring it all the way into the inner corner cause these are supposed to be waterproof. We'll see, but that worked pretty well. I'm gonna let that completely dry before we go in with the white just so it doesn't bleed. You know what, I should just go in on the other side. So let me go in and do my liner on the other side now. Okay, brown liner is done. Actually really like this. I feel like it was very easy for me to use. Even though the tip is not super flexible, I found it easy to use and to get a precise like nice wing without having it be too big. Sometimes I feel like when the tip is too flexible, I, my wings get like crazy and they go like out to my eyebrows. So I like that. I feel like it's probably completely dry now. So let's go in with the white. I like white liner, like in certain looks. Sometimes I feel like it looks a little weird on my eyes, but in the summer and like spring, it can be really cute. So I'm gonna go on top of the brown and kind of do like a double decker liner situation. Never done this before, so let's see how it looks. Okay, the white is actually pigmented, which is nice. I feel like sometimes they're not and it's hard to get pigment out of them. Okay, does that look kind of cool? Like having the double decker? I kinda, I kinda like it. I feel like it's different. I'm debating doing the white on this side, but I feel like I should leave it. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. But I actually think this looks kind of cool. And I feel like these are actually pretty easy to use. I like it. Like I feel like if you did like a pop of color too instead of like brown, like maybe you used like a blue liner and then the white, like, that'd be really cool for like spring if you wanna do something different or maybe if you're going to like a festival or something, you wanted to do something colorful. This white liner worked really, really well. Honestly, both of them did, but I like them. Okay, for mascara, we have a new one from Rimmel. This is the Scandalize Volume On Demand Mascara in collaboration with Madame Webb. So I think Madame Webb is a movie theater, or 
<laughs> you guys, where is my brain today? Madam Web is a movie that is coming to theaters and they collab with Revlon. So again, this is the Scandalized Volume On Demand. So this collab is obviously brand new. I don't know if they have the Scandalized Volume On Demand mascara on its own. They may, but I don't believe that I've ever tried it. I feel like Wearmall is one of those drugstore brands where I haven't tried a ton of their products. There's products from like when I first got into makeup, like they have this bronzer that I still love to this day, but I haven't tried a ton of their products. So I'm excited to give this a try because I believe their Scandalized, like at least the original Scandalized is prete popular but this is brand new for the collaboration so this is what the wand looks like and this mascara is supposed to basically give buildable volume so i'm going to go in on my lashes with this now i will say full transparency to you guys i recently well it wasn't actually really that recent it was about i don't know three or so weeks ago but it still looks really good i got a uh lash lift and tint which has made my life so much easier so i feel like any mascara is going to look kind of good with it because it lifted up my lashes and it makes it look like i kind of have mascara on without me actually wearing any mascara, which was nice. I went to a place called Lashology. If you live in New Jersey, they are really, really good. And this made my lashes look amazing. So I feel like the lash lift and tint is making my lashes like look really good, but I do like this mascara also. It's not super, super voluminous, which is what I was most nervous about because sometimes those can just look like a clumpy mess. And this is not giving me that. Like it's individually coating the lashes, giving me volume, but not giving me like crazy clumpy volume. I have to clean up because I got a lot of it on my lid over here. But I do like this mascara. Pro tip if you get mascara on your lid like I do, let it completely dry. So I'm gonna give it a second. While I let that dry, I'm gonna go in and just line my lips. We have a new um, lipstick that we're gonna try, but I just wanna add a little liner. So I'm gonna go in. This is just ColourPop's liner in another round and just line my lips. It's like a neutral kind of peachy shade. Mascara is probably dried at this point. So then go in with a little spoolie and you just like spoolie away the mascara and it works really well. Okay, now we're gonna jump in with our last product, which is this brand new e.l.f. lippy. These are the e.l.f. Pout Cloud Lip Plumping Pens. So these are making waves. Some people love them and some people hate them. Spoiler alert, I did try this already. I personally love it. I have this in the shade Pinky Out. It's super similar to the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. If you're similar with those, it's a softer formula. So you really only need to like click this up like maybe twice. You don't want to click it up a lot because then you're going to get too much product and it could get goopy. But I really, really like this. It's like a lip gloss lipstick hybrid. So as you see, it has a really like juicy glowy finish, but gives a nice color and pigment. And I think it's a really good dupe, honestly, for the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. Probably the best one that I've tried. I think this is closer dupe than the NYX one is, and this is $8. They have a variety of different shades, but I love this shade. I think it's super pretty. It's like a neutral sort of pinky color, and I really, really like these. And I've been using this nonstop since I got it. I found it at Walmart. Um, I think that's the only place they have them in store right now. They also kind of have like a minty cooling feeling to them, which I like. It's not like the sort of plump that's like stinging or gonna hurt. It's just kind of like a cooling sort of sensation. So I like that as well. I don't feel like it significantly like plumped my lips, but just has a little feeling to the lips. Um, so yeah, that is everything you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I will link everything right down below in the description box. So check there and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.